a fire alarm went off in VLSB during the midterm. I've been told that it was triggered by a smoke detector, not by one of the students. But many students have contacted me since. And one thing they told me over and over again was that it was extremely distracting and disorienting to have a fire alarm go off and then have to move to another lecture hall. I also received too many descriptions of students sharing answers during the chaos. That's not okay. Quizzes and exams are the parts of this course that you have to complete on your own. And you all know those rules. Most of you choose to respect them, and I thank you for that. A few of you didn't. And I think among the students who were working on the exam when the fire alarm went off, too many chose to broke the rules just because it was convenient. What's worse, I have no idea who they were. I have some reports, but it's extremely hard to distinguish who shared answers and who didn't. So I'm going to ask all students in VLSB who had not turned in their exams when the fire alarm went off to take a new exam next week. I will share the details just as soon as I have a room confirmed. I know that taking an extra exam must feel like a huge burden on honest students. But I learned something else from all of the feedback that I got. Students want a fair tests. And it wasn't fair to you that you had to be interrupted in the middle of the exam and move to a different place. It's also not fair to you that other students might receive higher scores just because they chose to be dishonest and share answers. I'm asking you to all take another test for the sake of making exams more fair in this course. You can also expect a more controlled exam environment with assigned seats and no bags or cell phones allowed. I hope that by removing the opportunities to cheat, everybody will be encouraged to, you know, just study for the exam and show up with a pencil in your study guide, answer the questions as best you can, and know that you were evaluated fairly. I'll also give you some unsolicited advice about life. A big part of living a happy life is holding yourself in high esteem. Now you're very bright and you work hard, that's why you're here, but it's not enough. And you'll likely be very successful, regardless of your major, especially if you've taken some computer science courses that prepare you for the world ahead. But that's not enough. However, knowing that you have acted with integrity, that you've made a difference in the world, that you've built relationships based on trust, instead of mutual benefit, well, that feels really, really good. It's not too late, but college is an excellent time to start leading an honest life if you haven't already. You won't regret it. You could even start when you take your makeup midterm. Okay, so exams aren't graded yet, but we're getting close. We will release scores to the students who took the exam that wasn't interrupted by the fire alarm, for everybody else, since it's impossible for me to write a makeup exam that's exactly as difficult as the original, and because you have an extra week to prepare, I will have to adjust the scores in the alternate exam to match the distribution of the original exam. So yes, I'm going to curve a test in a class that otherwise does not grade on a curve. But I don't see a more fair way to do it. I know it was frustrating to be involved in this incident. I wish it had been another way, but I can't control things like fire alarms. So please bear with us as we do our best to fix it.